Hello and welcome to The Print. I am Sumi Sukanya Datta and in this special broadcast, I'll tell you about a study conducted by the Union Health Ministry's National Centre for Disease Control on antibiotic consumption in the country, what are the key findings and why these are important. The study report released on Tuesday by the Union Health Ministry found that 57% of the antibiotics prescribed in India are those with the potential to cause high antimicrobial resistance. The report calls this a concerning trend. The first multicentric point prevalence survey of antibiotic use at 20 national antimicrobial consumption network sites, India 2021-22 was conducted by the NCDC. The national antimicrobial consumption network consists of 35 tertiary care institutes across India and has been monitoring antibiotic consumption at these facilities for the past five years. The survey findings indicate a remarkably high prevalence of 71.5%. 9% of antibiotic usage with 4.6% of the patients getting four or more antibiotics. Out of the 20 sites where the assessment was carried out, four had more than 95% prevalence of antibiotic use, the report says, before offering a breakdown of the types of antibiotics prescribed. According to the AWARE classification of antibiotics developed by the World Health Organization in 2017, watch antibiotics generally have a higher potential for antimicrobial resistance and are more commonly used in sicker patients in medical facilities. These medicines, according to the World Health Body, should be prescribed carefully to avoid misuse. Access antibiotics are those with a narrow spectrum of activity, generally with fewer side effects and a lower potential for antimicrobial resistance and lower costs. These are recommended for the empiric treatment of most common infections. The classification also includes a third group, reserve antibiotics, that are the last resort medicines and should only be used to treat severe infections caused by multi-drug resistant pathogens. The government survey found that at 57% watch group antibiotics were on average prescribed more frequently at the 20 sites than those under access group which was 38%. The trend was the other way around at two sites. In 2019, the WHO included antimicrobial resistance as one of the top 10 threats to public health. The report says that the discovery of antibiotics has been a groundbreaking advancement that revolutionized the approach to infectious diseases. But these once miraculous drugs have been less effective due to various factors. The report says that one of these factors is the indiscriminate, excessive and inappropriate use of antibiotics. Funded by the WHO, the study was conducted over six months from November 2021 to April 2022. The number of survey days ranged from one to five for each health facility. The total of 9,562 patients were covered. The results showed that the third generation cephalosporin antibiotics first derived from the fungus Cephalosporium acrimonium and used to treat a wide variety of infections were the most commonly prescribed class of antibiotics, 33.1%. The top antibiotics being prescribed across classes are the molecules ceftriaxone, metronidazole and amikacin. Almost a quarter of the patients on antibiotics, which included 26.4% patients, were on double cover, which means two biotics from gram-negative bacteria, which are more resistant to medicines as compared to gram-positive bacteria. More than half of the patients were prescribed antibiotics pro for prophylactic, which means to prevent disease indications, with 91% receiving surgical prophylaxis, antibiotics used for preventing infections of a surgical site for more than one day. Also, in the selected institutes, only 6% of the patients on antibiotics were put on definitive therapy and the stop date was recorded in only 10.4% prescriptions. The report notes that only 8 out of the 20 institutes have an antibiotic policy in place. The knowledge gained from this survey, the report says, will serve as a foundation for future point prevalence surveys. It will also play a vital role in establishing and evaluating the effective of antimicrobial stewardship programs, consequently optimizing the utilization of antibiotics in human health in accordance with the National Action Plan on Antimicrobial Resistant Containment in the country. 
Based on the findings, the report adds that the health facilities should adhere to standard treatment guidelines and infection control practices to mitigate antibiotic resistance. Also, it recommends that hospitals develop a well-defined antibiotic policy that encourages use of access group antibiotics. The report says that institutions should aim to keep the consumption of reserve group antibiotics at the low levels and monitor the usage of reserve group drugs obtained from outside the hospital pharmacy. The institutions have also been advised to share the result of the study with physicians to affect changes in their prescribing behaviors. Polypharmacy, which is use of multiple drugs to treat a single condition, it says was observed in all the institutions, highlighting that combining the two antibiotics can increase the risk of adverse effects. Therefore, institutions have been asked to avoid unnecessary double coverage with antibiotics for anaerobic bacteria and gram-negative bacteria. The study also found that the antibiotics not recommended by the WHO and the report urges hospitals to monitor the consumption of such drugs closely. Surgical prophylaxis, it adds, should be limited to a single dose or a day before the surgical procedure and treatment for post-procedure infections should only be administered after a diagnosis of infection. That is all for now. Do subscribe to our channels on YouTube and Telegram.